Hello, I'm going to show you how to use the RCS website's uh, content management system that we use. It's called Joomla. It's a very simple e uh, system to use. Once your website's been built and ready to go, we'll give you instruction on how to log into the back end of the website. Um, in this case, we've put a login on the front end. So you scroll to the bottom. We've got a little login button here. Click on the login button and it takes you straight to the administration area, which is another way you can do it. It's be forward slash administrator um, if you don't want to show the login button on the front of your website. We just find it quite convenient for people. Quite happy with that. You'll be given a username and password. Uh, you put that in and then you'll be shown the screen. From the screen, you go to content and article manager. All the articles on the website are inside this. You can scroll through and change any page that you like. What I'll do is I'll quickly show you how to add a page and then I'll show you how to edit it. So from content article manager, we go to new. Wait for that to load up. We'll be given a screen. So we're going to add a page into our blog. So here's our blog page. At the moment it's got a couple of entries. We'll just maybe call it test. Test blog has to go into a section. You have to tell the system where you'd like the page put. So we've got a few options here. Uncategorized, blog, testimonials, or media. So we're going to go to blog. We've got some new information we'd like to add into the website. Scroll down the page a little bit. You've got a little content area where you can add your content. So we'll just call it blog test for argument's sake. So we've got title. We've got the section as blog. This is important. You must do this. Add in whatever you like. You can scroll to the bottom and you've got an image button here. From the image you can add whatever images you like. So whatever you've got in your computer, you've got a browse button and you can upload. Once you've uploaded, they go into this folder. You can scroll for the images here. In our case, we might just scroll in this one here. It's an award. Give it a description. And then align it right. If you would like to align it right, or you can align it left and insert. So that quickly just puts that little image into our article. If you decide that you want it on the left, click the image, go back to this little image icon, align left, scroll down, update, and it's put it on the left. That's how easy it is to add an image into your article. Go to your metadata. Uh, and give the page a description. This is what the public will read in a search engine index. Don't worry about the search engines too much. Worry about your customers. Um, they're the ones who are going to be opening up your website. The search engines will follow if your content is good. So come up with unique content in your blogs and get people to follow you. Once you've done this, what you do is you go to apply. So we've got an apply button here. Apply keeps the page open so you can make changes quickly once you've uh, refreshed the page or save, we'll save it and close. We'd be the, I always apply first. So I apply. We've got a successful article being added. We go back to the front of our website. I open it in tabs, so I've got the administration area open and the website open in tabs. You can do this however you like. Go back to blog and refresh the page, or just reload it. Once you've reloaded it, there's our blog entry. From here you can go, I'm not happy with the date being there, I don't want to show who it's been written by, and I want to move the image to the right. So if that's the case, you go back to your administration area, your page is open, and we want to change our image to the right. Back to the image, align, right. Scroll down a little bit, and update. Image is on the right, that's been changed. We wanted to get rid of our author's name, so that's under parameters. And we've got an area here for author's name. We want to hide that. What data was created? We want to hide that. If it's been modified, we want to hide that. And that's up to you whether you want to muck around with any of these features. Leave them on, leave them off. That's totally up to you. Uh, once you've made your changes to your page, hit apply. Wait for that to load. Go back to the front of your website and reload that page again. Once you've reloaded it, we can see that our images have moved right and uh, we've got a few changes that we're happy with now. So if you're happy with that, 
go back to the administration area and select save and that is live ready to go on the internet that those changes are done if you want to um, edit any other article on your website you're still in the article manager content article manager scroll down until you find the page if you've got hundreds and hundreds of pages what I would do is use a little filter area here or search so if I'm looking for my wine list I'll just go to wine and go here we go I've got a copy of the wine list and I've got a wine list and I'd go into there change pricing or anything I want to change inside my website just say for instance a bottle of wine has been taken off the menu or maybe this martini you can just delete delete that out once you've made your changes hit apply check it on the front of the website and save in our case we're not going to save it um, we're going to close out and really that is pretty much all that you need to do to add an article into your blog or your testimonials or your media page um, and I hope that you find that simple enough if not um, you can give me a call or email and I'm more than happy to run through anything that you need to know thank you